another episode of Cancer Education and Research Institute, the first and only simplified multi-language global cancer nonprofit organization. It's so wonderful to have you back and if you're new to our channel, welcome, welcome. If you watched our What is Testicular Cancer video, which I highly recommend you to watch this before this video, you get a better understanding of testicular cancer overall and its symptoms. And in that video, we got few questions about how to do a testicular cancer self-examination. So this prompt me to do this video so that you can better understand how to do your self-examination for testicular cancer checkup, okay? So before we get started, I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell or the alert icon so that you won't miss any of the next videos. So we have now that out of the way, let's get started. So I want to explain you the testicular cancer self-examination with these mandarins here. I want to show you how to do your self-examination so that you can better understand how this will be done in reality, okay? <laughs> do is you need to stand in front of the mirror and then you need to check for any swelling on the scrotal skin. You need to check if there's any swelling. So once you check the scrotal skin for any swelling, you need to dive into the examination part. For this, what you need to do is you need to check your testicles with both of your hands and you need to use these three fingers your thumb your index finger and your middle fingers and both hands you need to use these three fingers so you need to put the index finger and the middle finger underneath the testicles and your thumbs on top of it like this and first of all let's get familiar with the structure right so you need to first examine this and if you found that one testicle is larger than the other then this shouldn't alert you because it's normal it's like in breasts with women that oftentimes the breast, one breast is larger than the other breast in women. So it's the same thing with men too. One testicle can be, doesn't have to be, but can be larger than the other. So that's normal, don't worry about it. <laughs> then what you need to do is with the fingers underneath, with these fingers underneath, you will find there is a soft tube-like structure which is called epididymis which carries the sperm to the penis, right? So there is a tube-like structure, a soft tube-like structure and get familiar with that in the back of your testicles and just find out how the testicles in general feel. That's your first step to do. If there is any kind of lump on the epididymis, that is not a cancer. The cancer is oftentimes on the sides of the testicles or it can be on the front of the testicles. So on the sides or on the front. If you find any kind of lumps or so on the epididymis, that's not cancer you shouldn't be alarmed for that. But if you find any swelling, any lumps on the side or on the front, you need to see your doctor immediately. It can be cancer, it doesn't have to be, but you need to be checked if it is a cancer. Because if you watch our previous video, you can see that it has to be checked. If captured earlier, then you can get a better chance to survive testicle cancer. But if you're too late, then it will spread and then it's really hard because it will metastasize all over your body and you don't want to do that. So definitely check your testicles every month. You need to do a monthly self-examination. So a 
that's pretty much it. That simple. That simple. How many minutes did it take? Two minutes maybe or one? So that can save your life. You need to do this every month. Do your regular self-examination on your testicles. Again, with both of your hands, thumbs on the top, and then the index and the middle finger on the bottom. And then you will check your testicles if you have any kind of lumps, and also check for the swelling of the scrotal skin. And that's it. So thanks for watching. I hope you will do that. If you have any questions, let us know. Comment down in the comment box below. We'll love to hear from you. If you have any kind of challenges, you don't know how to do it, or you still don't get it right, definitely let us know. We'll be happy to help you. If you have more specific questions based on your situation, then you can contact us through our Siri Personalized Patient Program. We can help you identify what your situation is and also find you the right solution for your specific situation. And we deal with all cancer types, so you need to fill out the form. It's a secure website that we have. You need to fill out the form. We will look into that and we will be in touch with you, whatever your issue is, okay? I will put the link up here, also in the comment box down below and also in the description box. So if you like this video, definitely give us a big like We'll appreciate that. And before I let you go, I want you to do three things. One, subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bell icon or the alert icon so that you won't miss any of our new episodes. Number two, share this video with your friends and family. You know that you can help us save lives by you sharing this video, this video and also our previous video on testicular cancer. So definitely share both videos you can definitely help us save lives. Number three, hop over to our website because on our website there is a gift waiting for you from us to you. You can read any of our articles on our website. We will keep them open for you. Definitely hop over, read any of our articles. Again, we deal with all cancer types. So if you have any questions, let us know in the comment box below. Give us a big like and we will see you in the next episode. Don't forget to do your self-examination when? Every month. Take care and I'll see you next episode.